Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sister Malika here, aka Hidden Curls, coming to you with another video. So today, guys, you are not going to believe what product gave me these results. I'm totally floored, okay? This product has never, never, ever, ever worked in my hair before, okay? But let me tell you how I stumbled upon it. On It was an accident as to how I really uh, found out how to actually use the product for my hair to make it actually work and to achieve these results. So three weeks ago, I was sick. I mean, super sick. I, I You couldn't tell me I didn't have COVID, but tested three times and each time it was negative unless I were getting was getting um, some false negatives maybe. I don't know, but three tests, negative, but super sick. So I'm all better now. So the first two weeks um, when I was sick, I still had a washing going on my hair. So I figured, oh, okay, you know, you don't feel like doing nothing to your hair. So I said, I have got the, by the third week, I said, I have got to get up and shampoo and condition my hair because of this dye. That my hair will break off. I will wind up with damaged hair. So... I thought, well, you know, leave-in conditioners is pretty much, it's a styler. So I shampooed and conditioned my hair. And the only leave-in conditioner that I had was the Kinky Curly Not Today. So I read the instructions and the instruction says use a generous, apply a generous amount on soaking wet hair. So once I shampooed, conditioned my hair, then I put, when I tell you, I put a sure enough generous amount of this product in. I've only used this twice and you see where it is, right? So you know um, what I put in there. The first time I used about this much, right? Maybe one fourth of the bottle, okay? But while I was applying it, my curls start showing up and I'm saying, say it ain't so. Are those curls? You mean to tell me that I'm getting curls from the Kinky Curly Leave-In Conditioner? Who knew? But I was too, I, I was too sick to even deal with that. So I just applied it, kept applying it, and I just pulled my hair into a bun. You should see that video. It should be up shortly. I just pulled my hair back, and that's the way I left it for like a week or longer. But during the course of the week, I kept feeling my hair saying, Oh my God, this, this leave-in conditioner is, is bomb. My hair still feels moisturized. That's what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? Wow, this, this stuff is really amazing. And I can see the curls peeking out in my little ponytail. So I thought, hmm, when I get better, I think I'm going to do a wash and go and try this kinky curly custard again. I said, tell me, is this the key to getting better results by applying more leave-in conditioner than actual product? Who knew? So what I did was Wednesday, and let me tell you something, guys. This is day three hair. Day three. Look at that. Look at that flow. It's When I tell you my hair feels amazing, amazing. It's moisturized. Look at the flow. Look at the elongation. I have like... Look at the length. It's not shrunken, not drawn up at all. The hair is bomb, bomb. I mean, oh my God. It feels like, I, I mean, my hair feels super moisturized. It's, it's unbelievable what I am feeling, <laughs> what I am feeling, okay? And look at the curls. Look at those curls. What? take back everything I said bad about the kinky curly not working for me okay because clearly it was me and not the product which I I thought that I said maybe it's me so that's why I, I held on to it I held on to I have two leave-in conditioners and the um the custom I've tried this used this so many times so I said I'm not going to give it away I'm going to keep trying I'm going to keep trying so I Getting back to that, I know I just went out to left field somewhere, but I applied an enormous amount 
of this kinky curly leave-in conditioner and again as i was applying it the curls were forming so i was like wow can you i don't believe it i can't believe it so then i separated my hair in very small sections very small sections and i applied i would say a 50 size 50 cents piece size amount to each section a section like this and i worked that through i did that throughout my entire head i gave it the anthony dicky shake front back side side and i went in with my dyson and diffused for about 15 20 minutes because that's my new thing now my stylist told me to try it so i've been doing that now and it's she said i'm telling you gonna let the results and i do so I went in with my Dyson for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I set it to dry for another 15, 20 minutes. And this is the results. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. I love, love, love it. I, who knew? Who knew? Okay, who knew? Let me turn around so you can see the back. That is the back. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Okay. So guys, tell me what you think. Think. Do you use this kinky curly? Did you have problems trying to get this thing to work in your hair like I did? Now, part of it could be because I'm hydrated now. And this is, I think this is the first time I've tried it since I've been hydrated. So maybe that could be it. But I'm so glad that I held on and continued to try this over and over again. Because look, guys, nothing beats a failure but a try, right? Who knew? Kinky curly. What? I love, love, love it, guys. And this is day three. So, look, we already know what it is. I, if this is day three, then we rolling. Okay? We are rolling. All right, guys. Look, like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Hit that notification button so you can be notified the next time I upload my next video. Until next time, guys. Peace. I'm out.